say what you want about Escanor, not really, but um, it doesn't matter if he's in his uh, arrogant muscle form or in his weak uh, form. The man really has a will when it really saying the right thing. And that is what makes him a very admirable character. This is me, the Angry Anime Fan, the Despair Reviewer, and this is Nanatsu no Taisai, chapter 297. We see a cover page dedicated to the time when Estarosa and Escanor fought, but now they are reunited as Mael and a weakened Escanor. A uh, stroke of fate by the grace, as firm. And uh, Escanor recognizes uh, Mael as now Mael, not the, well, uh, demon thing. As Elizabeth has heals Escanor's abilities. Uh, he begs Mael to take his grace, revealing that apparently he has not enough energy or power inside of him, himself to handle um, the power of uh, the gray of the sunshine anymore. But Mael feels he is unwi unfitting, since he was pulled into darkness and became Estarosa. It abandoned him, meaning that, and then waited eons to choose a new owner, meaning that uh, he feels like he's unwilling, un unfitting. But uh, then Est uh, Escanor says that uh, if you're not going to take it, then borrow it instead. It's worth noting that when he does, it really has a nice uh, manly determinational look. As m and then Hawk, of course, says, might be a shrimp with a tiny mustache, but he sure can talk big. So he begs Mael to save the ones precious to him. We then switch into the side back as um, Merlin has to finish the cocoon uh, incantation in 10 minutes. It's not known, though, if she's gonna succeed. Given despair, very unlikely. Elsewhere, Luda Shell, while still slowly also evaporating, fights evenly with the absolute demon as uh, he shows his true power. I managed to die in the damaged uh, absolute demon when even Escanor couldn't. However, uh, while the battle of arrogance seems to go well, it in the end, unfortunately, begins to uh, turn into unfavorable favor for uh, the tier for the for the main characters as is revealed that uh, despite the fact that the first demon is taking uh, damage and his body is actually breaking down his power is actually growing because that is his magic uh, the more his life is shaved away the more his power will grow in proportion that is his magic of crisis. Uh, so, and as punishment for going against my, uh, his crime and returning to his original form, this flesh and bone is in welcoming his imminent destruction. Meaning that, despite the fact that uh, the two absolute, the two absolute demons uh, fu fused into the absolute demon again. The power of crisis will eventually destroy him after all, because that is his punishment for his crimes. Basically, it's a contest of stamina. Who breaks first? However, it's worth noting that uh, the one who holds the advantage so far is the absolute demon, because, as I said before, the more damage he takes, the stronger he will get, even if his body breaks down. And it's even more amazing the fact that despite having betrayed the original Demon Lord, he still welcomes the birth of a new Demon Lord. It's during that the most awesome hand happens as a bright of light shines down as uh, Ludushel rec recognizes, recognizes the sun who blows away all the darkness. As Seldris gives a sadistic smile, he says, Welcome back, Estarosa, or, more, or should I say, Mael. With that, Mael wields the sunshine temporarily once again. Now is the question, though, is that enough to destroy this despair? It was enough power to destroy the darkness that uh, the absolute demon gave off, and now the, the entire place is full of light again. The seven deadly sins have caught up, so now they can distract Seldris again, while Mael can maybe finish off the absolute demon. The question is, though, if it's going to be that easy. No, I don't think so. Uh, his uh, Kamehameha Hadouken or whatever that uh, Mael shows is pretty badass. So whatever awaits now, we do not know.
But I think so far the demons have the advantage. Merlin needs 10 minutes of an incantations in order to slow down that cocoon. The question is though, is that going to be enough? And where is Ban again? I know he reunited with his last, last one. But what about Meliodas' emotion? There are still some things that are not making sense here. Either way, Escanor really showed a wise dialogue here. And I like that about him. Mael once again brandishing his sunshine as the strongest uh, uh, four of the four archangels. But, however, who, we still don't know who will win. That's basically this chapter. A power also that allows the absolute demon to slowly die. <laughs> I guess in the end he was just too powerful to stay around. <laughs> I guess that makes sense though. Give me your thoughts if you have any.